Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I know I haven't uploaded in over a week and the reason is I had so many copyright claims hitting my videos. The intro song that I've been using for over a year now got claimed out of nowhere. So the management of my network and I sat down and we actually had to, you know, crop out the intro or whatever. So that's why you can also hear a new intro song from now on. We had so much work reaching out to the labels and trying to get that copyright issue resolved. So that's why I'm just using a new intro song for now. We're gonna grind five videos every single week again. So let's continue with the video. Okay guys, so now that you know why I have been like a little bit off the radar for quite some time now, we're gonna look into this awesome planner motion tracking feature in Vegas Pro 17. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I would say let's get started with this new feature right after the intro. Right guys, so as you can see right now, we are on Vegas Pro 17 and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this planner motion tracking feature and we're gonna make this car light light up from this Audi R8. It's, it's a freaking beast of a car. It's a, it's a beautiful car. So we're gonna do that and also we're not gonna only make that light, uh, as you can see, brighter. But what we're gonna do as well is we can attach, for example, images onto this or onto anything that we want to do. That's the planner motion tracking feature. So let's get started with the first clip. So in order to actually make this light brighter, for example, a car light, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that clip. We're gonna press Control C. We're gonna copy it or right click and you want to hit copy. Then we're gonna right click and we're gonna insert a new video track and we're gonna hit paste. So now that we have two clips at the same time, as you can see on top of each other, then we're gonna lower the opacity of the bottom track and we're going to click on the video effects tab right here and we're gonna pick Beezer masking, which is this one. You can pick uh, this one, you can pick the circular one, square or any, basically any shape that you want. I'm gonna just pick this square one and we're gonna drag that on top of the top track. So then what we need to do is we need to basically select the area that we want to uh, light up or that you want to attach an object to. So right now we're just gonna basically crop it down until we have this car light. So then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna also tilt it sideways. You can also bring up the opacity of the, the, of the bottom track so you can actually see what you're selecting. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so now that we have the car light selected, what we need to do is I'm gonna just lower the opacity just a little bit more. Then we're gonna go to the Beezer mask settings and then we're gonna click on mask one and we're going to click on the tracking and we're gonna hit start. Now it's gonna automatically create all these keyframes frames at the bottom because you have to imagine if you do that if you need to do that all by yourself that's going to take so long so now as you can see this is basically the clip tracking the car light so now what we need to do is we need to mess around with the feather type so i'm going to bring up the opacity of the bottom track just a little bit so right now it is just really sharp cut off edges but if you bring up the feather one as you can see it's going to also add like a little bit of a blur so that's what we're going to do so now that we've done that we're going to close it out higher the opacity again and now we need to only just add some brightness to that light. So I'm gonna hit brightness and contrast. I'm gonna pick the default, drag it on top of the top clip. And now we can also just up a lot as you can see like that. So this is basically what the car light looks like. But right here, it also needs to be lit up on this corner. So we're gonna go back to the Beezer masking and we're gonna just adjust the mask a little bit drag it to the right and then we can also just hit start and it's just going to replace all these keyframes it's really really handy so now if you go back to the brightness and contrast settings if you bring up the contrast as well this is going to make the car light light up like really really like so much so if you play it back as you can see it's going to also follow along to that light it is really really awesome guys and now you can pretend that the car light is on because if i lower the opacity it is actually just off but if i just higher it as you can see that is how it 
it actually tracks it and that's the planner motion tracking now you can also do this in a lot of more scenes but before we're going to continue i want to take a quick break for our sponsor which is nordvpn have you ever had this issue that you can't watch certain youtube videos or netflix in your country you can now use a really simple tool called nordvpn to change your ip address and watch the content you love this also secures your anonymity on the internet protecting your data from being used by third parties without permission make sure to grab that guys i put a link down in the description just for you to so make sure to check out the link in the description guys to start watching content that's blocked in your country thanks nordvpn and let's continue with the video let's say that we want to attach an image to these stone bricks what we need to do is works exactly the same press ctrl c ctrl v place these clips on top of each other then we're going to go back to the bezer masking option and then we're going to drag it onto the top one and now we it is just basically a matter of selecting the area where you want to attach an image or a video whatever it is so i'm going to also do that so let me just crop it down now that we've done that what we need to also do is higher the opacity again hit mask one tracking and we're going to hit start and now it's going to basically track that entire object and now what we can do is we can attach images onto it so let's just add in a vegas pro logo all right so now that we dragged in a logo we're going to just basically also trim it down and then what we need to do is we need to apply the picture in picture effect on this image so we're going to go back to the video effects tab and we're going to scroll down until we see picture in picture so i'm going to scroll down until i see the p which is this one I'm going to drag it on and then we're going to also do it like that. And now what we need to do is we need to align this image onto these bricks, but we can also tilt it in some so, sort of way. So I'm going to go to the track motion icon. And then what we're going to do, this box is popping up. Then we want to click on source alpha, click on 3D source alpha. And now we can tilt this image like in 3D ways, as you can see. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tilt it just a little bit like that. Then we're going to position it onto the stones. All right, so now that we've done that, what we need to do is hold control and also select the one below it, but not the bottom one. So now we need to go to tools, scripting, and you want to pick copy motion to PIP. But if you don't have it in this list, you have to click on run script and just download the script that will leave in the link in the description, download it, extract it to your desktop, and then you want to pick that one, obviously. So then if you completed all the steps, if I play it back, as you can see right now, it is just really nice and staying on that object. It is that that simple guys so that is for this video thank you so much for your continued support and i'll see you guys in a brand new video obviously tomorrow so i'll catch you guys in my next one